Tony. Tony. Come on, bud. Open up. The, the grip, the more resistance you get. Tony. You know, you don't really realize it in the moment. You, you have only good intentions. But in the long run, you're actually hurting your kids. Can you open the door, please? I was a dinosaur of a dad. Um, I was hands-on. I was a dad who's standing right behind the cage. I was that overbearing voice in his head while he's just trying to track a ball and catch it and throw it back to the, the pitcher. He had, uh, he had his old man over his shoulder, you know, fine-tuning every, every aspect of the way he was playing the position. So I was probably the, the primary reason my son burnt out of baseball. Why'd you drop that ball? It was so easy to catch. Why'd you do that? You're such a disappointment. Go to the ball. Go to the ball. Get aggressive. You should have had that. Get. You have to get that grab ball. That's like so easy for you. So that's that that that's what happened a lot. It kind of felt like I was being uh, coached by Gordon Ramsay sometimes. What am I doing? You know, and I literally broke into tears in my driveway in front of my garage because I'm thinking something's wrong here. It's coming your Kick way. It. He's a pull hitter. Oh He's a pull hitter. Tony, get ready. Tony, get ready. Here we go. Tony. We see this all the time. Go to any sport and watch the kids on the field. They're constantly looking at the stands. And, and what are they looking for? Approval. Is, is mom or dad happy with me or is mom and dad upset with me? Because all you're going to do is tear them apart. The mops are usually the worst, uh, you know, with it. You know, the dads, you'll hear them say something here and there, but usually it's the moms. Yeah, it's the moms. Dear mom and dad, first I want you to know I love you, but I put a lot of pressure on myself to do good. Just chill, like it's just a game. I can have my bad days and I can have my good days. So you should be happy either way. Cause I already have enough pressure that I put on myself and I don't need more pressure from other people. So when you're in the stands and you yell, you're making things harder. The thing I'm most scared about is letting you down. When I do watch him play, I know that there's plenty of room for improvement and it's hard for me to 
stay quiet and be like, why didn't you get the ball? Why didn't you go to the ball? When we drive home, I don't look forward to it because you tell me what I did wrong and I already know what I did wrong, so it frustrates me. He's gotta learn how to take criticism. And he's gotta learn to do this sooner or later. Does your boss hug you for abject failure? Huh? Or, or, or even, have you ever been given a, a, a Slurpee for missing a virtual presentation for, for being on Pinterest? I mean, really. It's not the same thing, come on. Is this a listening moment? Do you want my advice? Or do I need to fix something? We want the best for them, so we have to set the bar high and we want them to do well. And oftentimes we want them to do better than we've done in our own lives. Um, but they're overwhelmed by it. Everything was turning against me. So I had to go to the hospital they gave me they gave me tips on what to do and they helped me on what i should do if i get these thoughts about killing myself again i think perfectionism in my opinion should be classified as a mental disorder i'm writing this because i don't know how to say it to you but i don't want to hurt your feelings wow Hmm. Yeah, this is hard. Yeah. There's a meme on social media. You can't hurt my feelings because I used to ride home from ball games with my dad. Yeah. In Major League Baseball, when the game's over, there are 10 minutes before the media is allowed in the clubhouse and at least 10 minutes before the manager addresses the media about the, the good and the bad of every game. So if, if grown men at the highest level of their sport need some time to cool off, well, maybe our kids need longer than 10 minutes. Okay. Not your best, bud, was it? How do you think you played? I sucked. Yeah. You sucked. You failed. I, I don't know what you were thinking. So I was probably the, the primary reason my son burnt out of baseball. My oldest son burnt out of baseball by the time he got to high school. And acknowledging that and realizing that, um, that was not the goal. I wanted to be, I wanted him to think I was there for him. <laughs>